everyone welcome back to another video so as you can tell not only by the title but by what i have on my face we are doing today a festival makeup look and yes i do have a wig on as well but i don't care judge me all you want it's a bit of fun it's makeup it can be wiped off at the end of the day the wig can be taken off as well i just wanted to really go all out for you today if you want to see how you can get this festival makeup like then just keep on watching so because this is a festival look i want my skin nice and dewy and glowy so i'm going to go in with the makeup revolution liquid highlighter drops these are in the shade liquid luster gold i'm like a wee bit like tin man at the minute aren't i Okay, now we have that done, I'm going to take the Barry M All Night Long Medium Coverage Foundation. This is in the shade 5 Almond, so I do hope this matches my tan because I have freshly tanned and I just hope to God this matches okay. So I'm going to do a few lines down my face. I've never used their foundation before, so I'm quite excited to see how it turns out. And then just taking an MSQ Professional, like a Kabuki brush. We're gonna start blending this in. What I'm gonna do is just wet my brush a little bit with a bit of the Flawless Mist and Fix Eliminating Spray by Barry M. I just find that the foundation's a little bit too dry and it's hard to blend. It's like dragging across my skin. So I'm just gonna add a few little spritz of that and see if it helps. So for concealer, I'm using the All Night Long Concealer by Barry M again. And this is in the shade 2 Oatmeal. So it's going on nice and creamy. Feels nice and moisturising underneath the eyes. So to blend that out, I'm just going to go in with a smaller Kabuki brush. It does really help brighten up the under eye area. Look at that. Whoa. I'm really impressed with this concealer. We'll definitely be picking it up again. Just blend mine so easy. And it doesn't feel thick under the eyes, creasing or anything. Sometimes I find as soon as I blend out my concealer, the little fine lines start to show quite quickly, but no, this is really absorbed well into my skin. Love, love, love. To set everything in place, I'm going in with their Ready Set Smooth Loose Setting Powder. It comes with this little mirror and this little powder puff too, which I think is quite nice. So what I am going to do is just use this on a large fluffy brush. I'm going to set underneath my eyes first, as always. And I like to run a little bit over the lid as well, just to prevent any creasing. And even though it's a translucent powder, it is quite white, but it doesn't leave that like white mask underneath your eyes that some powders can do. And then just setting the rest of my face. So just to warm my skin up a little bit, I picked up this blusher palette by Barry M. And it has these gorgeous like peachy, rosy shades here. And I wouldn't really use these for blusher. I'm going to use this shade here just to warm my skin up a little bit. And then for blusher, I'm just going in with this little shade here. So I'm just going to quickly do my eyebrows as well. I'm using the PS3 in 1 Brow Pencil. This is just by Premark. Okay, now time for eyes. I have no idea what I'm going to do, I just know that it has to be nice and bright and colourful for the festival. I'm using the MUA Makeup Academy palette for this look and I'm going to go in with this pink shade right here and I'm just going to concentrate that on the outer corner. And I'm bringing this up quite high because I am going to be cutting the crease after so I'm not worried too much about it on the lid, I just want up here nice and blended. I'm just patting on the colour first, getting the pigment on and then I'm going to start blending. 
So taking this orange shade by Obsession Makeup London, this is in the shade Burnt. I'm going to start blending this into our pink shade then. You're nearly creating like a nice ombre effect with these shades. And then I'm going to go in with the pink shade again. And this just helps the blending of your colours. Because we don't want to lose our pigmentation. As soon as you add a colour, you want to go back and redo the other. And then I'm going to go in with a yellow shade. This is by Kiko in the shade 19. So just a gorgeous, vibrant yellow. And then I'm going to go in with another Kiko shade. This is in the shade 01 Smart. And it's just this gorgeous... I can get the lid open or with it's just this gorgeous frosty white shade and I'm going to pop that into the very inner corner I'm just going to go in then with a clean fluffy brush and just dust over the top of those shades so that they're all merging nicely together so we're now ready to cut the crease and i'm just going to use the same concealer i was using for my under eyes and i'm going to use a teeny tiny little brush for this if i can find it and i'm going to try and cut my crease But once we have cut our crease, we're just going to start adding the same colours in along the concealer again. So, like the outer corner, I'm going to go in with the pink again. So we're going to add that to the outer corner. And that's why I said don't worry too much at the start about getting eyeshadow on your lid because you're going to be carving the eye anyway. So we have our pink shade. So I'm going to just quickly do the other eye off camera and I'll be back in two little ticks. Okay, so we're just going to do the same thing underneath the lashes. We're going to do pink, orange, yellow and then a little bit of white. Then I'm going to go in with the Clash and Glam Crystals. This is in the shade One Glitz, and I'm going to just do like a nice little line where I've done the cut crease. I'm then just going to go in my waterline with the blue eyeliner. This is by Essie Lauder Double Wear. Let me see. This is in the shade Electric Colbert. For mascara today, I'm going in with the PS Instagirl Lash Mascara by Primark. So I just need to add eyelashes. I'll be back in two ticks. Okay, now we have the lashes done. Now is the exciting part, the glitter. Um, so I'm going to use a few mixtures here. I have nice little pink stars. I have silver stars, silver butterflies. And then I have a little bit of chunkier glitter. So I want to put like a little bit of glitter tears down here. To stick down my glitter, I'm using the Peaches and Cream Glitter Base. Taking a little bit of that and dabbing this underneath my eyes. Going in, this glitter is by Barry M. 
So it just has different chunks of glitter in it. As we can see. I then want to put some on my chest as well. You'd also use Vaseline for this. Um, if you don't have a glitter glue, Vaseline will work just as well. We're not done yet with the glitter. Um, so I got this little face jewel as well by Bar AM and I'm going to put this on as well. <gasps> oh mummy, look how gorgeous that is. Oh my gosh. I'm also going to put the wee eyebrow ones on as well because, because why not? <laughs> so excited. I want to be going to a festival now. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I want to add just a little bit of highlighter and I need to put a lip on as well. So for my highlighter today, I'm just using the PS Pure Glow Highlighting Palette. And I think I'm going to go in with Aiden, this nice like pinky shade. For my lips, I'm going in with the Mat Me Up Lip Kit. This is in the shade, let me see, Pose. And this is by Barry M as well. And then I'm just going to add a lip gloss on top of that. This is by Peaches and Cream and this is in the shade Fudge. And then to fix it all in place, I'm going in with the Flawless Mist and Fix by Barry M. So that's it for the makeup. I just need to go off camera, do something with my hair, and I'll be right back to show you the finished look. So guys, that's it for the finished look. I just put this grey wig on just to really sort of tie in with the whole festival look. Absolutely love it. Love the foundation and everything. Love how my eyes turned out. I'm all biz. Um, so are you going to any festivals? If you are, let me know down below in the little comments box. If you could like this video, that would be awesome. Subscribe to my channel, just click the little bell down below. It is completely free and I would really, really appreciate your support. And until next time, I will see you all again soon. Bye.